In this video, I'm going to show you how to have a message box display similar items to the one you have selected from a list in Excel. So I have parts lists that I have copied off the internet. They're elbows, 90 degree elbows for pipe fittings, I believe. So let's scroll down and let's um, let us click on the 90 degree elbow that's a half inch by three quarter or three eighths, I'm sorry. I would like to see, um, there's one of those in stock. So I would like to see if there's other ones of other varieties. So I'm gonna click, I've selected the cell. I'm clicking on the similar box. And then I get, um, I get this one as well. Um, and this one is pri priced at $4.21. But then you see that they are, there's also another one for $22.25 and the third one for $30.95. And so we'll go okay. And then we are gonna go down and let's try another one. Let's try, um, we're looking for an elbow and that's one and a quarter by one. And this one is $15. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click similar. And then we can see that we have two that come up besides this one we have one that's nine dollars and fifty cents, and so if we're if right now they only have one of these in stock, so if we're needing to get a second one, we would be able to get both of these parts from the list. Okay, and the last one I'm going to look at is um, ninety degree elbow that's three quarters by one half, and I'm going to click on the similar button. And we see that there's three displayed. So the one that's being displayed is the $23, but we also have one, uh, one in stock that's $4.26, and we have one that's $14. And so let me show you the code that I did this with. So here's my code. Um, I called the sub similar. How we do this is by active, uh, the active cell. And so the active row is the row that the cell was in. Active description is from the active row, the string. Um, active description two is the second description. Row is an integer, last row is an integer. Display text as a string. So I calculated my last row here. Last row equals active sheets, row count, uh, end up row and active sheet or active cell select. So it, whatever cell that I have clicked on is what my active cell is. So active row is what we've determined from our active cell here. Active description one is what's in the first column, which is the verbal description. Um, active row description two, which is cells active row two, and that is uh, normally, it's the size of the fitting that they're looking for. And so R equals row. And so we're starting with the third row. And so what we're going in is this for loop. We're going um, for um, R equals three to last row. When we're going through the rows, if the cells, the cells are in the first, the A column and the B column match the active rows a column and B column, then it's going to display and it's going to display. This is putting a couple of carriage returns on and now it's going to display three, three, which is um, the the second description. And then it's going to display four, which is the number in stock. And it's going to display five, which is um, which is the part number and it's going to display six, which is the price. Okay, so now we we come we total all these up and then you keep going for each row. And then in the last one, you do message box display and it's going to display all of these lines in your in your message box. So this is a handy tool for looking through saying similar, either if you're on the phone to someone and they want to know another part or if you're looking through a list of parts and you want to find something that would work just as well, this is a good method of getting through the list in a hurry. 
I will, of course, include uh, this code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.